<laughs> okay, Cleo. Truth or scare? Hmm. How about scare? Hello, Cleo. Oh! Not expecting that much scare. What's she doing here? I invited Amanita because I know how hard it is to be the new ghoul at school. Been a while. How do you two know each other? We have history. Dracula, Lara, your outfits are to die for. Let me borrow some of these. You'll be lucky if you ever see them again. Oh, you could be a model. Thanks. I already am, actually. Here, I always carry a few shots from my portfolio around for fans. That's my purse! Amanita, we were just playing truth or scare. Oh, I pick truth. How do you and Cleo know each other? Oh, we go way back, don't we, Cleo? Because I only bloom once every 1,300 years, I am a pretty big deal. Your queen has arrived. Hi, ah, you call it bowing? Put your backs into it. You worshippers are so lucky. You have the privilege of enjoying my loveliness all day long. It's unfair, but there isn't a single reflective surface to gaze upon myself. And the villagers realized I was much too rare and special to keep for themselves. So I was gifted to the Denial family. My family became trapped in our own tomb. I admit it got pretty boring till Amanita sprouted up. I love that outfit. You have to let me borrow it. And she did borrow it, along with everything else. Mm, and I'm gonna borrow this, and take this, and ooh, borrow some of your hair things. A ghoul needs her beauty sleep. But that wasn't even the worst part. I'm all tuned out. Let's see if I can root out an escape plan. Amanita, you found a way out. Get help. I'll go for help. Hey, I'm gonna borrow this. That was nice of Amanita to go for help. Except that she didn't come back. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> well, I believe that monsters can change. Cleo. Truth or scare? Pick scare. <sighs> scare. I scare you to get along with Amanita. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! And how about you, Amanita? Uh, Amanita? <gasps> My clothes! Amanita took everything! Borrowed. Yeah, she does that. Ugh. <sighs> When Bloodgood said we could have the gloom and bloom dance in the garden, I didn't realize that meant we had to work in the garden. Come on, Cleo. It's not so bad. Look around at how happy the plants are making everyone. Uh, careful, Lorna. That's the rarest plant in the whole garden, the corpse flower. It only blooms once every 1,300 years. And tonight, we'll all get to see it at the Gloom and Bloom dance. Oh, I just wish Laguna were here to see it with me. That's right. She's still in Madrid. Oh, Gil, I know how you feel. I miss my boyfriend back in Rawland. Oh, speak of the devil. I... <laughs> I have to go! Lorna! It's from Lorna's boyfriend. <gasps> He's breaking up with her. How oh, oh, Lorna. Lorna. What do we do? This is no time for a ghoul to sit home and mope. The dance must go on. We're gonna make sure that Lorna has a great time tonight. <laughs> Operation Help Out Our Bestie McNessie is a go. Hey, Lorna, what you need right now is some serious time with your ghoul friends. Um, and your gill friend. I'm not coming out. Quel disaster! Lorna, we're here with the Skultimate Ghoul Friend Emergency Heartbreak Kit. With revitalizing makeup, four years of Monster Beat magazines, and the biggest ice cream sundae we could find on short notice. No, thank you. We're gonna miss the corpse flower blossom. Um, can I try something? Lorna, can I talk to you for a second? <gasps> Tonight's the night of the Gloom and Bloom dance, and I figured you could let me take you to the dance, you know, as, as friends. <laughs> You're so sweet, Gil. <laughs> Lagoon is a lucky ghoul. 
I, I'll go to the dance with you as friends. But I don't have anything to wear. Out of the way, Gil. We've got to work to do. And here's a little move I like to call the sea slug slide. <laughs> oh, Gil. Thank you for convincing me to come out tonight. It helps to be here with my friends. And we finally get to see the corpse flower bloom tonight. Oh, yawn! Let me tell you, I've seen one, and trust me, corpse flowers stink. Oh, don't be such a bloom kill, Cleo. Corpse flowers are supposed to be the most beautiful in the world. I just hate that Laguna won't be here to... Gil? <gasps> What's going on here? Guess who's back from Shibuya? <laughs> Toad's awkward. Gil, how could you? Laguna, I promise it's not what it looks like. Um, it looks like Gil took Lorna McNessy to the Gloom and Bloom dance. Okay, so it is what it looks like. Oh, um, L Laguna, I, I can explain. Don't. I came all the way back from Madrid early so that I could surprise you at the dance. And I come in to find you dancing with another ghoul? I have to go. <laughs> Laguna! Corpse flower, it's starting to bloom after 1300 years! Let's hope it's nothing like the last corpse flower I saw. That flower reeked. Um, uh, Laguna, I, uh, I only took Lorna to the dance as a, as a friend friend. Her boyfriend broke up with her and, well, she needed somebody to frighten up her day, you know? <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'm sorry I caused a scene. I just... I had this picture in my head of what tonight would be like. Surprising you, running into your arms. We'd watch the corpse flower finally blossom. Oh, my ghoul! The corpse flower! Gil, we're missing it! I'd rather be right here with you. Oh, Gil. Come on! Here it comes! There's something inside. Oh! Something or someone. <laughs> it's it's a ghoul. That's not just any ghoul. Welcome to Monster High. You're the guest of honor. That's a Manita Nightshade. A party for me? You shouldn't have. Well, I suppose you should have, actually. I'm kind of a big deal. Cleo Denial. Long time, no see. You know each other? Let's just say Cleo and I go way back. We were two mates ages ago, literally. It's a long story. Poor Cleo. Still a wallflower, I see. No date to the dance. Actually, this is my boyfriend, Deuce. Hello, Snake Eyes. Uh, hello? Cleo, you won't mind if I borrow him for a dance. You always were so good about sharing your things. Uh, Cleo, I don't know what to do. May I have this dance, and every dance from now on? Of course. <laughs> Happy gloom and bloom. Oh, beautiful dive, Laguna. I can't believe this is my last practice before I leave for Monster Exchange. You're going to have the best time going to school in Madrid. But I'm going to miss you all so much. Especially Gil. That new ghoul Lorna has got some big flippers to fill while you're gone. Hey, Gil, want to go shopping with me this afternoon? Gil, you promised you would help me with that um, thing. Right, uh, the, the thing. Is that okay? Uh, of course. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, Laguna. Wow, Gil and Lorna are fanging out together, and you're okay with that. Why wouldn't I be? I'd be jealous. Like, major jealous. Like, super major mega big time jealous. Like, <laughs> I get it, Serena. Jealous. Of course I'm jealous. <laughs> Sorry. It's just 
Gil's parents would love it if he broke up with me and started dating a freshwater ghoul like Lorna. Why don't you ask him? Because that would show him that I don't trust him. But I do. Don't I? Oh, uh, we're gonna follow them, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> I get what they're saying. I don't care that we come from two different worlds. We belong together. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, uh, Laguna. Serena. Gil. Um, Serena. <laughs> what are you doing here? Laguna knows all about what's going on here. Laguna knows about Finn. That's right. What's Finn? Lorna's saltwater boyfriend. Yeah. Finn's a saltwater merman, and I'm a freshwater lake. Like me and Gil. He was helping you figure out how to talk to your freshwater parents. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way to tell my father. I'm sorry to have stolen Gil away for so long. Psh, hardly noticed. So, what are you doing down here? I, um, wanted to give you... this to remember me by. Oh, Finn. If Gil and Laguna can make it work, I just know that we can, too. Let's leave these two alone. Oh, Gil, I wish you could see how beautiful it is here at Don Quixote High. It's all so educational. Oh, I knew you'd love it in Madrid. Yeah, but I sure do miss you. I miss you, too, Laguna. But, hey, at least I still have this shell to remember you by. Is the final day to enroll in the Monster Exchange program. To take advantage of this program and spend a scaremester abroad in a foreign country. Representatives from all over the globe are waiting to help you sign up. Look at all these places we get to choose from! Scaris, Transylvania, Dubai. Any idea where you might want to go, Draculaura? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, what if I pick the wrong one? Huh? Oh, this is too much pressure. I've got a solution that cannot be beat. You spend Scaremaster at Himalaya High. The Himalayas. Well, on the plus side, I do have a lot of cute winter clothes I never get to wear. But something tells me I might want to go somewhere that has more temperatures than just cold and also cold. Maybe I need to pick a place that has a lot of art and culture. How about Madrid? A scare master in Spain. Oh, very artistic. Uh, excuse me, Senor Dragon. Uh, do you know what time it is? Uh, I'll ask somebody else. I'm not sure that's right for me either. Well, it sounds colossal to me. I'm signing up right now. Die a land? I don't know. Scare Argentina? Maybe. Dominican Republic? Uh oh, how do I know when I pick a place that I'm not missing out on something else? Why not pick a country that has a little bit of everything? Shibuya, Japan. There's the fast-paced street life of our ultra-modern cities. But we also have the calming quiet of our countrysides and zen gardens. And the fashion scene is unlike anything you've ever seen. Fantastic! It sounds like a dream! Also, it's the only monster exchange destination left. <laughs> You spent the whole day imagining yourself in different places and must have lost track of time. It's the end of the day, mate. Oh, okay. Shibuya, Japan, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shibuya, Japan. Ooh, wow. Shibuya seemed perfect in my imagination. But um, now that I'm here, <laughs> uh, what if I don't really fit in? What if nobody likes me? What if I made the wrong choice? Konnichiwa! 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 Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ah, I think I'm going to like it in Shibuya. Another scare master down, so you know what that means. New fear box! Leo, you look totally awesome in this picture. And I look absolutely amazing in this picture. Oh, you were talking about me. I have to put this online. Happy Feeble Day! Huh? Who's that? Oh, hi! 
That's a bunny good one. Ah, oh, how'd you do that? Sorry about that. I just love a good photo bomb. The name's Lorna. Lorna McNessie. Oh, you're one of the new Monster Exchange students. You're from Lake Loch Ness in the Frightlands of Rotland. You might have heard of my dad, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Got us again, Miss McNessie. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone has to keep you two on your fins. <laughs> well, there's the sweetest, most loving, bestest father a girl could ever ask for. You're not going up to the surface, Lassie. You've been to the surface before. And a right lot of good that did me. Don't you remember how much trouble that wee picture caused? We had every normie from here to Glasgow invading our lake, trying to find our castle. Please, Dad, you know I'll be careful. Did I mention you're the bestest? Aye, <laughs> you did. One hour. Oh, Dad, thank you! But you're to stay away from the normies. <laughs> they did get me good side. I did it. But there was something about that camera that just compelled me. I just had to. I just had to photobomb that man's camera. Ah! It's the photo that's taken the world by storm. And everybody wants to know, who is the photobombing Loch Ness Monster? And um, did they get me good sight? With the lake overrun with normies, my dad and I decided it would be best to get away for a while. We discovered the exchange program at Monster High. It was a chance for me to really explore the surface world beyond the lake. And so, it was photobombing that brought me here to Monster High. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Well, allow us to be the first to welcome you to Monster High and wish you good luck on your first day of school. Oh, today is not my first day. I've been here all scaremaster. I'm off. See all of you later. Uh, ghouls. Lona wasn't kidding. Dias, <laughs> chicos and chicas. It's your ghoul, Mari. Coming to you live from my beautiful village in Monster Pichu. I'm all about big hair, big shoes, and big attitude. Today is the day I hop on a train for my scaremaster at Monster High. I was accepted into their Monster Exchange program. Will I miss Monster Pichu? Claro! <laughs> of course! But, as you know, this sassy Sasquatch is always up for a new adventure. My Yeti cousin is a student at Monster High. She's coming here to Monster Pichu to ride with me back to Monster High on the train. Hello, cousin? In here, Abby! It's my last day in Monster Beach Room, and I was really looking forward to showing you around before we go. Perhaps we can dawdle for a little while. Have you ever seen a place more gorgeous than Monster Pichu? Yes, yes, very pretty. Lots of big feet, but now it's time to head to station. Okay, you're right. I'm ready for my Monster High adventure. <gasps> oh, but you have to surf down the Amazon Beach River first. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's Gabby, and that one's Angelito. Wait, where's Piggy Pantalones? <laughs> yes, your guinea pig's all very handsome and well-named, but we should really be going. <laughs> what do you think of your Mari makeover? Actually, I love it, but now I must... See, it's... see, the train station, I know. But you can't leave Monster Beach without you seeing our fabulous jungle. But after that... No more monkey business. Running from spider monkeys is very much a monkey business. I told you we'd get to the train station. Eventually. But admit it. You had fun in Monster Pichu. You know something, cousin? I really did. Mari, those platforms are to die for. What can I say? I've got a lot to work with. <laughs> oh, hey, 
Do you girls know what happened to Abby? I haven't seen her all week. Oh, I can answer that. Buenos dias, chicos and chicas. It's your ghoul, Abby Abominable, coming to you live from Monster Pichu. She had such a great time, she decided to stay an extra week. For those who do not know me, I am all about big hair, somewhat average-sized shoes, and big attitude, thanks to my cousin, Mari. <laughs> Springtime. Best of all, we get to make freaky flowery dresses for the Gloom and Bloom dance. Très monstrifique. I love the dress, but I feel like it would look better if my hair wasn't so monstrous. If anyone needs to change something about themselves, it is me. Look at how very long my tail is. My ears? They are so not pointy enough. I wish my complexion were greener. Look at me. No beauty marks. Perfectly symmetrical face. I'm too beautiful. Silencio! <gasps> oh, Mari's soul. You scared us. You just wait and see how scary I can get if I hear any more negativity from you chicas. Haven't you ever wanted to change something about yourself? See, back in Monster Pichu, I used to be ashamed of the size of my feet. I could not stand the sight of my feet, and I didn't want anyone to look at them, especially Sam Squatch. Back in those days, I would do almost anything to hide them from the other Bigfoots. Right mirror until one night when I found the perfect solution to my problem. The Tootsinator! Guaranteed to make your feet three sizes bigger! You were embarrassed because you thought your feet were too small? What did you think I meant? I had the uh, smallest feet in the village. The Tootsinators cost me all the money I had saved up in my guinea piggy bank. <laughs> they arrived just in time for the Monster Pichu Jungle Jam. Everyone would be there, including Sam Squatch. I think they're working! Ooh. Are you okay? Si. Bueno. Uh, would you like to dance? Yes! Yes! Mm. Uh, si. Sure. I realized that if Sam Squatch didn't care about the size of my feet, why should I? He liked me for being me. <laughs> it's silly to worry about a part of me that I can't change. So, from that moment on, I decided to love every part of myself for who I am. <laughs> ah, something to think about next time you look in the mirror. Hey! Thanks for the talk yesterday, Mari. I guess sometimes it takes a wise ghoul to remind us that Monster High is all about loving your freaky flaws. Well, for most of us anyway. Oh, haven't you heard? Big feet are so in this season. Ah!